Hey everybody, uh, just a couple quick notes about this video on the hoop build for the raised bed. Um, I had some problems with the initial video and so this is kind of spliced together um, of the different takes that I had to do. When I first went out and got my supplies, came home with a roll of the plastic 6 mil, bought a big box of it, but I wasn't paying attention to the box when I opened it up. I had bought 6 mil plastic, but it was black, not clear. Uh, fortunately, I had another roll that was um, left over from that I bought to use uh, around the chicken coop. However, it was smaller in width, and I didn't realize it at first. And so when I first started this out, um, I started with 10-foot hoops without cutting them down to the 8-foot length. I had it all put together, was doing the video the whole time, went to put the plastic on and I was like a foot short on each side. So I had to take the whole thing apart and <laughs> start over again after cutting down the 10 foot uh, PVC pipes down to 8 foot. Then uh, I came out and, and started to redo the video all over again and ran out of battery. So <laughs> then I had to stop again, took the, the camera in, and when the battery was about done charging, I went to come out, neighbors started mowing the lawn, so I had all that background noise. So at that point, I decided to give up with trying to do a walk up, walk through with uh, the tight close-ups and stuff. And I just did GoPro video and narrated over it for uh, a large portion of the video. So that's what you are about to see. So not everything always goes right when you're trying to make a video and do a build. <laughs> so. Um, anyway, here's the video. Hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out a new video. Please uh, reach up there and click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss all of our awesome content. Today, we are going to be doing a quick DIY on making a hoop house for a raised bed to extend your growing season. Now, some of us, you know, we might not have room to buy these or the money to buy these great big hoop houses that you see on different websites. Um, but you can do a mini version for your raised beds with just uh, a little bit of materials and not a whole lot of money. Um, so I'm only going to do it on one bed today and I just wanted to show you the steps that I'm taking to do it. There's lots of different versions of this, uh, many different YouTube videos on how it's done. Um, and this is just going to be um, a version of that, I guess. Uh, so I have already got, you know, my broccoli in here that's popping up. Hey, buddy. Got a caterpillar in there. I don't know if he was munching on that or not, but I don't want him eating my, my broccoli sprouts. Oh, yeah, he's been eating on it already. So he must have got in under, you know, this was a section that I had covered in tool, uh, but the tool had started to dry rot and also after the rain it had kind of sunk in and ripped a little bit. And so that there were some openings and I see a couple of these, uh, one of my green cabbages and one of my broccoli leaves have been munched on. So took him out of there. Anyway, so let's get started with how to do this. Um, the first thing you want to do is measure the width of your bed and uh, no wait first off let's take a look at uh, the materials and tools that you are going to need to do this and i'll throw a list up here right now Okay, so now that you've had a chance to take a look at the list of what we are using today, uh, the next thing that you want to do is measure the width of your bed and cut uh, your first two by fours to that width. Now mine are, are uh, about four feet wide, and so I've got I've already uh, pre-cut um, my boards to have two of the uh, two by fours at four feet wide. Um, one quick note of caution when you are picking up your lumber for the two by fours make sure that you are getting a two by four by eight uh, and not a pre-cut uh, lumber 
or pre-cut two by four by eight because those are going to be a little bit shorter. Um, you can now you can buy the you know the standard two by four by eight foot length, um, or you can get a pre-cut which I think is like 92 and some odd inches, uh, which basically makes room so that you can have your top plate I think or something. But uh, I had accidentally grabbed ones out of the pile from the pre-cut list. And so I almost came up short because I only bought the three two by four by eights. Uh, but fortunately, I did have one piece left over from a, another project. So it's slightly warped, but <laughs> that won't matter for this job. Anyway, so cut your uh, two by four by eight um, so that you've got two four foot lengths, one for either side of the bed. Then you're going to cut your other two by fours down to match the length of the bed in between uh, the two by fours that you just cut. So as you see here, this is gonna match up like that. And then we're gonna screw these together on both ends. All right, so let's do that now. All right, so you're just gonna get your, uh, your edges lined up here. And you're just gonna do a screw on either side into the board this way at an angle. Uh, you can also pre-drill the holes if that's easier for you. I'm going to try it without and see how that works. Alright, so I got this first corner screwed in. I'm going to go around and do um, all four corners and get them all attached and then I'll take you to the next step. I don't think that you need to watch me um, fumble about putting all the screws in. Okay, so note to self and to viewers, pre-drilling the holes for the screws would make your job much easier. But I got it all together. So now we just have this frame now sitting on top of, of the two by fours that are all together now. Okay, now we're going to uh, put in the four, or I'm sorry, the six end caps for the PVC pipes. Okay, so here's our uh, one of our three quarter inch end caps. What you're going to want to do with each one of these is to drill a hole in the center uh, for your screw because if you just try to put the screw uh, directly through without a pre-drill, um, you are in danger of cracking the end cap. All right, so first little holes in, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other five. Okay, so now you want to screw these in with a shorter screw into your end board. You're gonna do it on all four corners as well as uh, in the center of each two by four down the sides. Um, kind of centered up with the other two by four, your side two by four. So that way it'll run right down the center, all the way. All right, so that's all the way in now. So now we'll go ahead and do this on the other five. Okay, so one note when you are putting your end caps on, you're going to want to leave enough room, which is about an inch and a half all the way around from the edge for the one by two that's going to go on that helps hold the plastic down. So I did say center here, but you want to make sure that there is at least an inch and a half gap from the edge to the cap. Okay, now that you've got your end caps on, you want to go and start putting in your eight foot long PVC pipes. And you just bend them over and put them in each of the end caps. The one in the middle does not need the T connectors. Uh, so I put that one in first. Then when you put the T connectors on, you're just gonna do that on either end. It's easier if you put all three of the T connectors on the pipe before you start 
putting it into one side of the end cap and then bending it over and putting the other just makes it easier. And so here I'm just putting on each of the end hoops. And this is an eight foot long, three quarter inch PVC pipe that has all three of the one inch T caps over top of it. Now that you've got your hoops all set up, you want a T connector on each side and then one in the middle. Take your one in the middle and hook your uh, PVC pipe into either end. This is the one that you would have cut to fit your the length of your board. So it's not an exact cut that I had on the cut list. It's, it's cut the length for whatever you might need. Then you'll also hook in your uh, PVC pipe to the T connectors for the sides. And that's what I'm doing right here. Again, these are all cut to the same length. And I just basically measured them off. I, the easiest way to measure them off is to uh, put one in one side of the T cap and then bring it down to the, or I say the T connector, and then bring it down to the other side and see where it's gonna fit in. Give yourself a little extra room so that it slides all the way into the T connector and just mark a line and then cut all three of them at the same length. Okay, now that you have all three in there, take the middle one and center it along the top and drill a pilot hole down through both the top of the T connector and into your hoop below. And then it will fall down like this did. Mine kept falling down. Um, <laughs> but basically what you are doing here is uh, drilling a pilot hole for screws to go through to hold this in so that it doesn't continue to fall out. I actually ended up taking some electrical tape and taping that uh, end piece on so it would stop falling out of the end. Once you get your top PVC pipe situated and, and get it all screwed in, then you can get start working on the sides. I bring mine about halfway up or so, and I find it easier to put in the uh, middle pipe first or, or attach the, the middle section first before doing the ends and that way I can line up the ends to kind of match the middle. And this is here I'm just putting in a middle section on the other side. Of course then uh, had an issue where both the camera and the drill did not cooperate. But I finally did get it all put together uh, with both sides, even though one of my batteries ran out and I had to keep switching batteries back and forth between my two drills for the pilot holes and then putting in the end. Now you're going to go ahead and attach your plastic. Go ahead and add the plastic over the top. At this point here, I have it all unfolded because I had pre-cut it, but it's easier if you pull it over the top before you unfold it and then cut it to length. Once you have it stretched over the top, add your one by twos all around all four edges and just screw them down with your one and five eighths screws. You'll have some extra around the sides of the plastic once you get those all screwed down and then once they're all attached, then you can just trim that extra six mil plastic off with a pair of scissors. I ended up having a little extra on my sides around either edge and I just folded that back and just kind of taped it on the sides with some electrical tape. Then you're gonna add your hinges. You will want those on the corners so that they attach to your four foot long ends 
And then in the center of your long board, you'll attach your handle on one of the sides opposite from your hinges. Really, that's it. Uh, you can then use a board to prop it up when you need to, but that's basically the, uh, the gist of the job. All right, so the build is done. Um, it is working really well, even with the initial problems I had with building it. And it gets really warm in here during the day. Uh, I was out here, the yeah, I can feel the heat coming off and there's even some moisture building up on the inside. So that I got it done just in time because uh, it's supposed to be in the mid thirties tonight. So I'm happy to have this set up to protect my plants. Uh, I was also going to add um, some of those uh, pneumatic slow close struts to either side. But the ones that I got are a little too small for this. I needed something that was gonna let it open farther and maybe support a little bit more weight. This isn't too heavy, but it might be, you know, 20 pounds. Um, so I decided not to use those. And if I need to open it, I will just do so and prop it open with a board supported against the side for now. And then maybe in the future, I'll get some of those slow close struts to use. So, hope you found this information helpful and, and uh, were able to get through all my splices on the video. And appreciate you stopping by and checking out a, another video here. And I hope everything is going well in your neck of the woods and at your homesteads, your gardens, whatever projects that you're working on. Hope they're all going great. Um, if you try one of these and, and maybe make some changes for your own build, uh, let me know how it goes and, and what worked for you and what didn't work for you. Um, so guess that's it for now. Have a great day. Namaste.